everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, if you are new to my channel, my name is Carrie and I am a mom of two kids. Um, I just started this YouTube channel not too long ago and um, I post videos about motherhood and minimalism and living simply and doing the best you can with what you have. Um, for the rest of November and the rest of December, I'm doing a Christmas series on this channel about um, how we're handling Christmas as a minimalist family. Um, so this video is gonna be about what we got our kids for Christmas and how we handle gifts this year um, and what we're getting them. I have most of it with me. So I will show you what we got and where we got it. I'll leave links for everything down below. I did, I bought everything online this year and it took me like a day because usually I'm like out looking around, taking forever and not really having a plan as to what I'm getting the kids and this year I definitely for sure had a plan. So if you like that kind of thing, please hit that subscribe button and join our family and like this video if you like it. Okay, so I wanted to start this video about um, how we're handling gifts. Um, this is not a new concept and I know a lot of people do their presents this way. Um, and I don't know the name of the person who came up with this system, but we're doing the four gifts per kid system. Um, something they want, something they need, something to wear, and something to read. Um, I am adding a fifth thing to that list, and I added something to do as like a creative project or um, if you want, you could use that category as an experience, like you could go do something with them. Um, our kids are really little this year, so um, Lincoln will not be getting an experience, but um, I do have something for him to do. So that's the system we're using. Uh, I just kind of think it streamlines it a little bit, and um, they still get something they want. And again, my kids are really little, so they don't really... <laughs> They don't really know what they want. Lincoln is two and a half and he's just now kind of understanding um, who Santa is and what Christmas is. And I mean, Violet's six months old, so she she's fine with nothing. Like She doesn't know what's going on. Um, so as time get, goes on and my kids get older, we'll probably have to change stuff a little bit. But this year, um, this is what we're doing. In years past, I have not really had a plan as to what I'm getting our kids. Like last year, for instance, I think I just tried to fill our tree up, which to me now looking back, I just don't think that's the right thing to do, um, to just throw m meaningless toys at them and hope for the best and hope they like them. I mean, I did get stuff that he liked last year, but I honestly think most of those toys we don't have anymore. I just kind of been really thinking about it late lately and kind of, realizing that they don't need a lot of stuff. So I only got him one toy this year. Uh, the rest of his things are um, obviously things to wear and things to do or whatever, but I will go over that in a second. But my number one piece of advice when you're shopping for your kids um, this Christmas is to know that they don't need a lot. They need a couple things that they really want. We have to teach them that it's not about the gifts. It's not about how many you're getting. It's about the memories you're making with the people that are giving them to you. So this year we're kind of doing it differently. Um, I'm gonna start with Lincoln. And Lincoln is two and a half and he's really into Paw Patrol right now. He has these little Paw Patrol race cars that he plays with nonstop. And he only has three of them and there's six for all of you not moms of toddlers. Paw Patrol is a big deal. There's six pups and he has three of them and he loves the, these cars so much. So he's missing three of them. So I thought, okay, well, I'll, that'll be perfect. That's really, that is the one thing that he keeps asking me for is the rest of the cars with the Paw Patrol characters in them. So I found this. Um, this is the Paw Patrol Racers team pack and it just so happens to be the three pups that he does not have. So I got really lucky. This was very inexpensive on Amazon. Um, so I thought this is a perfect toy for him. Um, it's the rest of the pups. He's gonna be so happy and I'm hoping when we get this, we can get rid of some of the other cars we have. For a kid who doesn't have a lot of toys, Lincoln has a lot of cars and he loves them but he gets overwhelmed when there's too many out, so I'm hoping I can streamline it, and I think this is probably gonna be his favorite thing this year. Okay, so for his, what he needs, um, 
right before he got his cast on, we were in the beginning stages of potty training. And even though he has a cast on right now and we do have to use diapers because there's no point in potty training someone who can't move, um, he is really interested in potty training. And he's, Mama, I just went potty. I need a clean diaper. I don't want to wear diapers. And so I'm hoping that when we get the cast off throughout the rest of the winter and into the spring, we can be potty training him. So again, with the Paw Patrol theme, <laughs> I got him a pack of seven boys toddler Paw Patrol underwear as his what he needs. Um, it's definitely something we're about to get into once this cast comes off in a couple weeks. And I'm hoping that he likes these. He asked, um, when we first started talking about potty training with him, we asked him what kind of underwear he wanted and he requested Paw Patrol. So I found these also on Amazon, not expensive. Um, these are the 2T and 3T, and they also had this in a 4T to 5T size. So if you're still needing something, it's like the worst Christmas gift to get is underwear. It's like iconically the worst gift, but he asked for Paw Patrol underwear. So this is his what he needs. So this next thing I'm really excited about, um, this is his something to wear item, and uh, he likes to bring a lot of things with him whenever we go to the grocery store or someone's house, like toys or his stuffed animal Paw Patrols that he loves too. <laughs> he really likes Paw Patrol right now. He is always asking to put stuff in my bag and ask, um, wants to carry stuff around the house all the time. So I found him this adorable Skip and Hop Zoo Pack dinosaur <laughs> book bag. I thought this was so cute. It has two little, <laughs> it's like a little preschooler book bag, but it has two little straps. It looks like a Triceratops. It's called Dakota Dinosaur. I'm so excited to give this to him. I think he's gonna love this and wanna take all of his toys with him wherever he goes. Um, so this is his something to wear item. Now Lincoln's something to read item is one of the items from Etsy that I ordered that is not here yet. Um, he has plenty of books. He has a really good library going and I, I'm always open for more books, but I wanted to get him something a little different. Um, I love those personalized storybooks that you can get for kids with their name in it. And I found one that he really loves trucks and construction and bulldozers and um, dump trucks and all sorts of things like that. So I found a book where the, like the excavator and all the construction trucks spell out his name throughout it. Um, I will link it down below. I don't remember what it's called or um, who the girl is on Etsy, but I'll leave a link to it on the screen and I'll also put it in the um, description box below. It's so cute. They spell their name and then throughout the book he's like learning how to spell his name. So um, I think it was like $30, but I think it's worth it. I think it's just something that he will get excited about the fact that it's for him specifically and maybe when he's learning to read and learning how to spell his name, we can use it as a tool for that as well. Okay, so for Lincoln, something to do item, um, he's really into matching stuff right now. We have this PBS app for him on my phone for when we're like at doctor's appointments or out and about and he needs to like sit and stay still. Um, so I have this app for him and there's a Daniel Tiger game on it with matching and that's literally all he wants to do is match. There's like, you're like matching barn animals. And to me, I feel like that's a good skill that you need leading up to kindergarten. So I thought, yeah, let's play on that. He loves games. He loves playing games and he loves matching. So I found these really cute um, match stacks on Amazon. They were only $10 a piece. So I got him two of them. Um, it's either my deer or me deer matching stacks. I got wild animals and I also got um, traffic tools. So there's like cars and um, a bus and a truck and then that one and a ship and a bike. And there's, there's actually a, a lot of options. And then the animal ones, there's things like a lion, tiger, lizard. They're really cool. They're just these wooden like medallion pieces. So they're really sturdy. He can't break them, which I really like. We can still probably lose, we'll probably lose them, some of them, but um, he likes to try to break things because yeah, he's a toddler boy. So I got him these really thick wooden ones. They're really good quality and they were super inexpensive for, 
I think, for the quality. And these were from Amazon as well. So I got two packs of those as for something to do. I thought we could mix them all together to make it a little more challenging for him. Um, I think he's gonna love this. So, that is all I got for Lincoln. The total number of things he'll open is two, three, four, five, six things he'll open on Christmas morning and I feel like that's perfectly fine for him. His stocking will be full of snacks and um, he needs a new toothbrush so I'll probably throw in a new toothbrush. I like to put consumable things in the stockings. Um, maybe some crayons or something in there but um, I, I grew up having like snacks and magazines and nail polish and deodorant, things like that in my stocking. So I'm probably just gonna keep doing that for the kids. Um, give, like buy some special snacks for him and um, some of his favorite things in there. But basically consumables are going in his stocking. Okay, so for Violet, Violet is only six months old. So she doesn't know what she wants and she can't really do much. So for her, she's getting something she needs um, something to wear and something to read. So she will only have three of the five categories this year, but moving forward, obviously next year she'll know what's going on a little more than she does now, so I will get her something she wants and something to do. But for this year, she's getting something she something she needs, which um, is an item from Etsy, which I, I don't have, but it is a wooden and silicone teething ring toy. Um, she is in the middle of teething right now, which is, ugh, which is not easy with her because she already doesn't sleep very well. Um, it's from Etsy. I don't remember the shop name and I would look it up, but I am recording on my phone, so I can't right now. I should have wrote it down, but I'll leave it somewhere on the screen. I'll leave it down in the description box along with everything else, but it's this really pretty wooden and, um, silicone, BPA free, all that good stuff. Um, teething toy for her that's lightweight that she can just carry around. It's the lavender color. I got that for her for something she needs because her teeth have been bothering her so bad. Her next item, which is something to wear, is also from Etsy and I don't have it. Um, I got her three headband bows from this really awesome shop. Um, I will Again, I'll leave it somewhere on the screen and down below. Um, they were super inexpensive because if you have a baby girl or a kid or anyone, any child that wears a lot of bows, they are so expensive. It's like $15, $16 for one bow hair bow. Um, I got three of them for $10, which I thought that was such a good, good deal for hair bows for girls that are handmade by another mom, which I love. I got a gray one, a lavender one, and like a creamy coffee colored one. I think that's, I think it was like cough brown mocha or something like that. I don't know, a brown one. And then her last thing is something to read. And I actually got her two books. Um, she doesn't have a lot. I kind of took some of the books that Lincoln's too big for um, and gave them to her in her room. But I would like her to start building up her own library with her own books. I think they are both from Amazon. Uh, one I've been wanting to get for the kids because I just think it's a really cute story. It's called The Napping House. Um, it's a really cute story. It's like a rhyming story and it's like one of those ones where they add on to it each page. It's super cute. I got her this one. And then this is my favorite thing that I got for her. Um, I have another book by Julia um, Lobo, Labo, Lobo. I'm terrible with names. Um, it's Will You Be My Sunshine? And this is one of those foamy, like thick covered board books. Um, the pictures are beautiful in it. And it's just about a mom and a baby. And it's so sweet. So I'm so excited to, to read this with her. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I just thought this was so cute. It's kind of girly looking. And um, I always call her my flower child, so has all the flowers on it and I hope she likes this one. Obviously she doesn't know what's happening now, but um, within the year I'm hoping that she'll let me read this to her, I hope. So that was the last thing I got her. Um, Violet, Violet will have four things to open on Christmas morning. She's six months old, she'll be seven months old, almost eight months old. Um, on Christmas so she'll be a little more advanced than she is now she'll at least hopefully be sitting up and being able to like scoot around and stuff but she doesn't know what's going on so she has four things to open um, 
Lincoln has seven or six and that's it. That's not a lot. Violet's stocking will probably be full of baby food and our kids aren't going to have a ton to open, but they're going to have enough and I think they're going to be happy with what they got. I'm pretty sure Lincoln's favorite thing is going to be those Paw Patrol cars. He's so in love with Paw Patrol right now, so that's super exciting for me. But that is it. That's all we're doing this year for Christmas. Um, I did give lifts out to um, both sets of our parents. Um, I have two sets of parents, so I gave them li the list and then I gave it to Ryan's parents as well. And that's, I'm gonna do another whole video on that later in the month on how to handle your family in this time of the month. So that video is coming. Next week I am doing one about experiences that you can do specifically with little kids and toddlers. And if you guys have any suggestions on videos you want to see or things, you, questions you have about what I was talking about, again, I will leave everything down below for you uh, with links to everything. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this series and more on my channel, hit that subscribe button and let's become friends and family. And um, I think that's it. And I will see you guys in the next video next week.